Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include European migrants living in Britain hits 1 million. The EU Commission levies 1.5 billion euro fines on TV cartel. Brussels says no to Scotland's EU membership. 24% of the EU population at risk from poverty. Agricultural Rural Development Committee wants more money for less work. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. The number of Eastern Europeans living in Britain is now 1.5% of the UK population, at just over 1 million. Now let's be clear here, under the EU law these folks have every right to live in the UK or indeed anywhere in the EU, given, as I have demonstrated before, the EU law is supreme over UK law, any political rhetoric from Theresa May et al is just that, political rhetoric. This will be a contentious topic and as always we'll keep an eye on it. The European Commission is sending in the henchmen to lynch seven international companies. Apparently, Chunghua, LG, Philips, Samsung, Panasonic, Toshiba are all in the firing line. The Commission has imposed fines of 1.47 billion euros. Well, at least we know where the EU kleptocrats are getting this month's minimum payment for the ECB charge card. The EU Commission has revealed that if Scotland breaks away from the UK as an independent nation, its membership of the EU will cease. Now, El Toro Rosso, Spain, well actually more a uh, lilac lamb than a red bull, on account of Spain being rather bankrupt, but all the same, the Spanish government has made it clear it will veto any attempt by Scotland to join. Presumably, Spain wants to keep any potential bailout monies for themselves. Eurostat, the statistical office of the European Union, published figures on Monday. Apparently, in 2011, 119 million people across the EU were at risk of poverty which translates to 24% of the European Union's population. And when you consider that to be one quarter of the population, that is a real problem. Now, further to this, the report identified that 9% of the population were severely materially deprived. And this is a pertinent story and a situation that I suspect will worsen. Links to the full story are below. In our legislation section, we have an interesting report. Well, actually, it's probably more of a humorous story. Apparently, the Committee of Agriculture and Rural Development called for the objectives of the EU promotion policy to be more succinct and better defined. It then went on to recommend a budget increase. Well, this is technocratic speak for give us a shorter task list and pay us more money. And today in our video library we have the final part of Ireland Lost and Leaving, the BBC's special report production uh, presented by Stacey Dooley and the links to that are below. Well that's all for me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all our major updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>